pumped. We're live right now. I know. So we're just going to wait a couple people to hop on. Hey, um, most of you guys are probably working right now. Hi. Someone well, says hi. There we go. I have something really cool that Deanna forced me to stop what I was doing and do a live video to share with you guys. Um, we just got this awesome box from High Tech Customs, and we've been waiting to send out boxes till this thing showed up because what's in here is, uh, frankly, it's just awesome stuff. So I thought I would share with you guys our latest batch of good stuff. So we we'll sent these out. So yeah, I sent these out um, oh, about a month and a half or so ago. I want to make sure that we didn't run out of inventory when a lot of the stores are stopping carrying their ice gear. We're we're still loading up, and we've got just some really cool stuff that um, not only is going in the boxes. We've got some crankbait stuff in here, um, but I'm gonna go ahead and just get rolling. So wow, this is really cool. So we've got um, custom Z vibes. Let's see how well it's good. Look at that. It's a cool little perch. So we sent these out blank. So these all glow. And these are Euro Tackle Z vibes. Look at this one. Daryl Wood, this stuff is just awesome. Look at that. I am so excited to fish these. I am definitely taking a couple of these out. Stacks of them in there. Look at this bad boy. Oh, these are my favorite. Um, all these E-Vibes are going to glow. Look at that, guys. How cool is that? You want something custom. You want something different. You want to have these fish see something they haven't seen before. This is it. These will all be in the boxes. All right. Then we got this cool bag here. Let's see what's in this thing. So we've got some Rapala jigging wraps. Now, I still have to put the hooks and the fins on these things, but. That's pretty cool. There's, maybe I can just do the whole rack. What do you think? Yeah, I'm going to attempt this, so hopefully it doesn't fall. <laughs> Gonna be busy. What do you guys think of that? Oh, oh, these hooks are sharp. <laughs> are those tungsten? No, these are all lead. What do you guys think of these? So like I said, I gotta put the fins and hooks on them yet. Coming soon to a lake near you. <laughs> Seeing Daryl, I've seen a little bit of orange out of this batch. It's pretty cool. Oh, look at this tiger, fire tiger, chartreuse and black. Man, this thing is killer. Not gonna find this stuff in the old bait shop tackle store. Let's see. I can look at these for hours. All right, let's move on. Okay, now 
And we have puppet minnows. These are Northland Tackle puppet minnows that we get the blanks. And again, I got to put fins on these guys. Wow. Kind of a goby pattern there. What's up, JG? I don't get weird to do something. Gianna's picking all her favorites here. Look at that. Look at that chartreuse belly on that thing. Nice too. Looks like it's got real scales in. It's cool blue. Black face. That's kind of crazy. Look at that one right there. Oh, here we go. Never going to see these colors anywhere else. And yeah, I got to put all the hooks on these things. This one yet? All right. This is high tech. Yeah, these are all high tech customs. Just game it. Literally, the paint's still actually they're perfect. Um, all right, now is there another bag of fin? Might be. So we have some, my favorite lure of all time is a number seven, Berkeley Flicker Shad. Except we upgrade the VMC hooks. Look at this guy, it's a chrome. Look at that thing. Oh, the graphic and chromed out. Bling, bling, bling. The eyes are like that. This thing's pretty cool. Wow. <laughs> I don't even know where to start. Um, okay, so we have these DT10s, which I love the fish pike with these things. These, you know, a lot of bass guys use them too. Um, but I've been using them fishing walleye. So if you're fishing that shallow water, come springtime, that's what these are for. We've got some spring stuff in here. Look at that bad boy. Never seen a DT10 look like that before. Number five jointed, chromed out. Look at this thing. Another DT10. Pain in the eyes. Wow. Look at that. A monster. Look at that thing. The quality of this stuff is just. Daryl Wood, you outdid yourself again, my friend. Uh, okay, it's pretty close to the last one there. It's insane. I mean, it's just awesome. Back to the number sevens. Wait a minute, that's a number seven. This might be a number 11. Um, and now, Daryl Wood, if you guys notice, he's putting his stuff on the bottom now and labeling them. This one's called Firecracker. I'm 
I'm gonna have to take some of these. Yeah. Well, you gotta make sure they work, right? Well, yeah. <laughs> I'm hot picking it. Another joint of Chad. Sex eight. That blue chrome in the front. Pink belly. That's hot lure right there. Little chatter guy. Looks like a bullet. Yes, Justin, these are all high techs. He's blue. Where do you get that? Well, it's a chrome bait. Oh, yeah. I remember seeing these. What do you think of that, guys? Deep diver. Low profile. So when he gets these, they're all bright silver. Yeah. Which with makes chrome the page just bling in. Boom. Yeah, these blanks are pretty sweet, Justin. There's so much stuff in here. Oh, there's some lipless for our ice guys. Well, look, he's even got a mouth. Yeah, these ones got a mouth on them. There's a couple different kinds. Okay, I'm loving this one. Is that one chrome? Yeah. Oh, yeah, it's got to be. The lips not chrome like this one. They don't do the chrome. That's only that one. That one's cute. I like that white face with the black in the back. We'll put red hooks on all these. I'm just, literally, there's probably, I don't even know how many. Here. We're going to keep going. Orange belly with that black face. Man, it's got Lake of the Woods all over it. What do you guys think? Another DT10. This is a bluegill all day long. Have a good day at work. We got three different sizes of lipless in here. <laughs> what do you guys think of that? Are you the king of Florida? He's our king, Ben. You guys get a chance, share the vid. We're going to be doing this for a few minutes. Just came in. Hot off the paint rack. Ooh, look at this one. Oh, crap. Oh, yeah. I take this one, too. I dig them all. Oh, there isn't a lure in here I haven't been excited about. Good, Matthew. Congratulations on the YouTube stuff you got going, bud. What do you think of that, guys? I dig this lure. Lipless. That's kind of a purple. And then into a, fades into an orange belly. Thanks, Justin. What do you guys think of this one? I love these jointed chads, especially if I'm fishing the river or anything shallow. No. It's my go-to walleye bait. No. It's so Let's see. Seen a <coughs> uh, yes, you missed, Matt. I'll be out there this weekend. Chatter bait there. Ready. Yeah, 
Yeah, me too, Justin. Look at this bad boy. Oh my <laughs> god, I love this. If anybody fishes Lake Winnebago, this is a hot or um uh Lake Winnebagosh. Anything orange and black on that lake has always done really well for me. That's gorgeous. That's this cool one. guy. The lighting here is perfect. I don't put my hand behind everything. You guys like this one? It's pretty cool. Look at the eyes on that one. I had to pay a little extra for eyes this round because we upgraded the eyes. We'll see you up there, Matt. We'll touch base. See what you hook up. Yes, watermelon. Look at that little pink in the face there. I keep grabbing the face. And yes, I have to put all these hooks on today. Super excited about that. Cool perch. You're getting better at it. I am getting better at it. What, Matthew, this one? This is high tech, Cole. He's out of Ohio. Uh, I don't I haven't seen this one yet. Eyes are a little different, still a little perchy with that white belly. <coughs> Look at the shine on this thing. That looks kind of like the one out of the box. He's got that little black dot with a little white on there. That was my suggestion on that one. Yeah, Lake Winnie for sure, Robert. Oh my god, this stuff is so cool, you guys. I really love my job right now. Here, let me show you how many. Look at this. Daryl, you're on. Everybody's loving your stuff, man. See if we can bring him on camera. Daryl, hop on if you want. It's a lot, bro. Yeah, I'm oh. at work. You're at work? Yeah, we're doing this in the middle of the afternoon. Some of us uh, get to play with baits during the day, and others are out pumping it. <laughs> Yeah, we do the everything looks so amazing, Daryl. Uh you just you just you got so much talent, my friend. The uh yeah, these Z vibes are just killer. Those are my faves right there. Those are your oh. favorite? Yeah, man. And I'm ice fishing. Guys, look at this. Look at this. Awesome. 
Are they going boxes? Yeah, these are all going in the mystery, mystery, and pain fish. Mm hmm. I want to make sure everybody gets a chance to see some of these. They're nice. Uh, hey, what are these? I got a couple of these random ones in there. Are these those are special because I forgot a couple ice jigs. So those are your personal baits. Hey. Is this what is this? A number eleven? No, that's a that's a bandit. It is a bandit. Oh yeah. Doctor Duck Bandit. Gotcha. Well <laughs> then I'm not showing you guys this one because it's <laughs> going in my box. <laughs> oh fun. Oh yes. Yep, I'm digging these, man. These are these are so cool. Look at this bad boy. So how do you get your, your inspiration for this stuff, Daryl? It just comes to me actually, man. It's, uh, you know, after years of fishing on Erie, it's just things come to me and I'm always pushing myself to do things differently and something unique, but to keep fish attracting in mind. Yeah, they can't see it, but I mean, you got it in your hand. Can you see the gold flake in that pearl white paint? Yeah, Justin, I can. I can, that's yeah. Unbelievable. Yep. There we go. I can see a little yep. better. A little bit of little green emerald in it. Yeah, this thing is just killer, Daryl. Yep. <laughs> and I see we upgraded the eyes. Eyes are cool. Oh, I got more coming. Oh, I know. <laughs> Just killer yes. stuff, guy. Just killer. You know, I always wanted to lay around in my bed with a bunch of crankbaits with all the hooks on. Just kind of slouch around like money. DT10. Look at this perch. Oh, man. Look at the... Oh, this is chrome with special chrome paint on these guys. Mm -hmm. Yep. And uh, I don't know if everybody got a chance to see some of these. How do you like painting these bad boys? <laughs> oh, They're not as bad, you know. Oh, yeah. Yep. Yep. I just want to make sure anybody who's tuning in gets to see some of these guys. Hard parts glued hey, all while I got you on here, yep. the next batch that I do for you, I'm going to secretly put something in to see how many people pay attention into one of the baits. I'm not going to tell you. Okay. Tell you. I'll message it to you later, but we'll see how many people, because a lot of people, like, I know I paint a lot of different colors, but uh, I'm going to put something hidden in the next batch. I'm only one lure. We're going to see who gets it. And if they do, then I'm going to give them a free 10 pack of uh, rip, uh, Reapers. Whoa! So there you heard That's it That's awesome. All but right, next round, he's going to put a special bait in there, and whoever can figure it out what the special bait. Yep, they'll get a free 10-pack of Reapers on me. That's How awesome. That, sound? that sounds awesome. We dig it. And then we got, uh, Daryl, we've got our um, our veterans promotion starting on the 1st uh, to the 15th. Yeah. We'll have to talk about that. Um, we're going to do a little something for the veterans, too, there. Oh, yeah. That's one of my favorites. Yeah, I really – I love that black with the white dots on there. Mm -hmm. He's fishing in on that. I don't know what it is. The shine on these uh, – and you use an epoxy finish on them? Yep. Yep. This was probably Deanna and I's favorite ones that came out of there. Yeah. Yeah, that, that thing is <laughs> that thing is so wild. It's sick. I like the black one too. That's kind of got like the chartreuse in it. That's in there. I don't see that one yet? Well, it looks like there's some random ones that got tossed in here, huh? Mm -hmm. Must have gave you some goofy ones. Yeah. 
Oh, yeah. So if you guys are just tuning in, the uh, guy below me is Daryl Wood from High Tech. He's the word feature in his base. I just got his box, and Dan's like, you got to go live. It's so cool. Let's check it out. And so I haven't had a chance to see any of these yet other than some pictures here and there. I love and, that. Uh, yeah, we are, we are digging it. There is so much in here, it's kind of overwhelming. Look at that. <laughs> cool stuff, guys. So cool. Well, Daryl, I don't want to keep you too long. I know you're working, but we wanted to, if I had a chance to get you on, that was awesome. It was a good time, and you must have been just taking a little smoke break or something. And, yeah, uh, no problem, man. Uh, give me a shout later, and we'll work out the details about the veterans thing and then what we'll do with the secret bait that I'm a the secret little thing I'm gonna hide in there. All right, sounds good my man. Have a good right. day. Peace. Well that was a special treat, huh guys? Oh we haven't seen this one yet. Is that I'm on the phone honey. And it keeps going on and on and on. So now that we get some ice stuff, we're already starting to get our, our gear for spring. Um, if you haven't seen our crankbait stuff, I think we have some of the best crankbaits, some of the best painters um, in the country. Um, we've even had a couple more guys that we're waiting to send out stuff to. Um, we're, we're getting really excited. It's still a whole good month of ice fishing left. And, um, well, actually about seven weekends. So I want to make sure everybody's still, uh, when you're looking for stuff, you're running out of the store, we still got it. Uh, just a reminder, we are running the contest, the FLX 28. Uh, we're doing a Kangbro um, custom shuttle that's got our custom colors on it. Uh, I put a link on our, our website and a link on the Facebook page. You want to check them out. Um, they're they're pretty, uh, pretty awesome stuff. You just got to buy a box till the first. We've only got about 15 people in there, so your odds are really good at coming home with an $800 unit. So um, if you get a chance, make sure you share that page and and uh, hop on. Yeah, those Z-Vibes are awesome, Matthew. Well, I think I got through most of it. So I guess I know what I'm going to be doing today. Putting all these hooks on all this stuff. <laughs> and then we'll be shipping out boxes. So if you ordered in the last uh, couple of days, you're going to get some of this new stuff here. Some of the Z-Vibes and some of the... Um, new rip and wraps and blade baits and all that fun stuff. Yeah, I think I covered all of them. Um, yeah, we'll tune back in on Friday, guys. Thanks for tuning in midday. Uh, let's get these boxes moving. We want to start getting ready for spring, but we still have a ton of awesome ice gear. Um, if I know I was going to spend 50 bucks at a chance at a and a Vexar, I'd, I'd be doing it. Plus, you're not like buying junk or getting awesome, cool stuff. Um, I do suggest anybody that's buying a box right now to look at the mystery, mystery ones. Um, I think it's a really great blend right now with, with what we have in stock. A um, lot of awesome spoons, blades, um, jigs, plastics. Um, I really think it's a kind of a complete kit. Um, another little exciting tidbit I'm going to throw in is I had a meeting um, on Sunday with the guide who guides them relax for the last 15 years on smallmouth and we're going to partner up together uh, to build a smallmouth box so I for sure I'm going to do it now uh, so that's pretty exciting those of you that fish a smallmouth or if you want to catch uh, fish with teeth 
Uh, all right, one last one. We're going to end with this little purple bad boy right here. All right, guys, y'all have a great day, and uh, we'll see you soon.